Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and today I have a brand new arrival to show you. This is the 2021 and a half Forest River Arpod model 196. This particular unit comes in at 3,768 pounds as we see it here equipped today and is 22 feet 2 inches in overall length. We're going to do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today and we're going to show you some of the cool features and changes on this brand new couples unit including the optional solar package, outside kitchen and just a ton of other features. So let's go ahead now and we'll jump onto the inside and we'll start in the living and kitchen area. All right guys, so we're on the inside of this brand new 2021 and a half Forest River R-Pod model 196. And as you can see here, um, again, this is the 196 model. So this is gonna have the jackknife sofa. They do offer this floor plan with a dinette. That one is the 195 R-Pod. So as you can see, this is a pretty nice dinette or a uh, couch and you do have the table if you want to use it as like a dinette um, that can also go in outside or over by the bed you know over here to kind of help prep or whatever you want to do with it uh, and this bed will make into or this couch will make into a pretty nice sized bed if you have a grandkid or something that comes with you uh, this is primarily a couples unit this is the tupelo honey decor and this is the only color options available or option available. So you can see that you've got the darker floor with the lighter cabinets, lighter countertops, and lighter fabric colors. I think it looks awesome for such a small trailer. Um, I really like it personally. I've got the air conditioner on today again because it is kind of hot outside and I have this one plugged in. But this does have the 13,500 BTU Coleman Q series air conditioner. It is not a ducted air conditioner, but it is pretty quiet for a non-central air. Um, and really it's keeping it pretty cool in here. Uh, it's almost too cool actually, but hey, it's better than being too hot, right? Um, over here, and we'll come back to the kitchen here in a little bit when we talk about the storage. But you have a nice coat hook area right inside the entry door. You're gonna have your tank monitoring panel as well as your water pump and water heater on gas switches right here. And if we come over here, you'll notice your awning controls, your slide out controls, and some lighting uh, controls right, right here. And then if we kind of pan up just a little bit, this is your uh, charge controller for the optional solar package. So that is a 110 watt uh, solar panel, and it also comes with a 1000 watt inverter to power certain outlets in this trailer, which is pretty cool. If we come up here a little towards the front, right here, you're gonna have your uh, Coleman digital thermostat. That's a very nice upgrade. And then right here you're going to have the optional 28 inch 12 volt TV. Uh, this is a really nice TV. Um, the nice thing about it, it will work off the solar panel, um, which is a pretty cool feature. And then back up over here, it's kind of hard to see, but you do have your AM, FM, and Bluetooth stereo system. That does have HDMI and USB ports if you wanted to put, say, a DVD player or a CD player or something right there, which is personally what I would do. And that will control the interior and exterior speakers. All right, so if we come back, I know I'm jumping around a little bit. Um, last thing before we get into the kitchen, you do have a central vacuum system here this is really nice. It's basically an electric dust pan. You can buy the hoses from the central vacuum manufacturer, but it does not come with the hoses. You also have your pet bowls right down here next to your fire extinguisher. So if you bring your fur babies with you, um, 
they have their own food and water bowl. And then right here is going to be your direct fire furnace, which is in a good location. It's not under the bed, um, so you don't lose out any, any storage. All right, guys. Let's go ahead now, and we'll open up all of this storage in the kitchen, and we'll take a look at that. And we'll see what you think. All right, guys, so starting right inside the entry door, you're gonna have your six cubic foot two-way gas and electric refrigerator. So as you can see, it is a very big refrigerator for this size of camper. Um, and they haven't really gone to the 12 volt side on, the, on this particular series yet, but this is a very good size refrigerator. If we look up top, you will notice that you have a ton of extra space there. This is nice and deep too if we kind of get in there uh, a little closer. And all of this is pocket screwed cabinetry, so you can feel back here when you're in an R-Pod uh, in any cabinets, and they will be screwed and glued together as opposed to stapled. If you look down here, these are all pressed membrane thermal foil style countertops. You can see the sink cover and the large uh, basin circular sink with the high rise faucet. Nice handy plug back there for a coffee maker or something. And then over here, if we kind of go around the uh, uh, MSRP sheet, you can see you have a two burner cooktop. down here you do have a convection oven slash microwave which is a really nice feature especially in a small trailer because it takes up uh, the space of one appliance instead of taking up more storage space with an oven you're also gonna have three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guided drawers and a nice chunk of storage under the sink and I love that little accent light down there too now where this floor plan shines is this big pantry um, well one of the areas this is a huge pantry you have fully adjustable shelves so plenty of space there uh, down here that's gonna be where your slide out motor and mechanism and electronics and stuff are so that's why that is blocked off and it's got a nice dark colored door right there to uh, close that off interesting note that does lock for some reason um, I'm not quite sure why they did that but it must have just been what they had available. And then up here, um, you'll notice you have good storage above the couch. These are gonna be strut supported, which is a very handy feature. That way you're not having to juggle the cabinet door open with your head or your other hand while you're trying to put uh, whatever items go back in there. So all right guys, that's gonna wrap it up for the kitchen and the really the living area storage um, let's go ahead now and we'll jump a little bit forward and we'll take a look at the bathroom and then we'll circle back around and take a look at the master bedroom we'll take a look and we'll see what you think all right guys so stepping into the master bathroom so you've got a nice pocket door here to shut off this uh, trailer instead of a, a swing door like they used to have if we step in here and we take a look down here, you'll notice a nice shower, not a travel trailer tub. If we look up top, you'll notice that you do have a nice skylight. You can be upwards of 6'2 and still shower in here comfortably. And then you've also got the Aquaview Shower Miser, which is pretty cool. It's a water saving device that will keep your, or recycling your cold water from in back into your fresh tank while you're waiting for the water to heat up if you're dry camping. If we come over here, you'll notice a nice medicine cabinet. Fantastic vent fan up here. That's gonna move a lot of air for you. You're also gonna have a nice thermal foil press membrane countertop, small sink, GFI protected outlet, and then netted storage on the left and storage there under the sink down below, as well as a foot flush lever toilet with plenty of room around it, which is nice. This is one of the biggest R-Pod bathrooms they have. If we come back out, we'll take a look at the master bedroom. So as you can see, pardon the box, um, that is this extra stuff like the prep table for the outside kitchen. But you have a 60 by 74 camp queen that is fully walk aroundable. Um, that's one of the cool things about this floor plan is you 
uh, can fully walk around this bed, which is nice. You can have storage underneath there. Wardrobe storage here with the accent lights, hanging rods, as you can see there. And then you've got household and USB plugs on both sides of the bed, which is really nice. And then of course, like I said, you've got that little bit of storage up there if you want to use it for that, or a DVD player. And I love that this bed is surrounded by windows. And the cool thing is this window here up front that used to not open, now does. It's what they call a European style window. And that has a shade as you can see, or if you pull up from the bottom, it's a privacy shade. And then um, this also doubles as a screen when you open the window, which is pretty cool. So all right guys, that is gonna wrap it up for the 2021 and a half Harpod interior. Let's go ahead now and we'll jump onto the outside and we'll take a look at the outside features. And I tell you, this has got a killer look to it and uh, tons of features out there. You know, I think you're really gonna like. Let's go take a look right about meow. All right guys, we're on the outside of this brand new Arpod 196. So as you can see right here, you have a nice uh, fiberglass front end here. This is not like this Arpod 190 that I reviewed the other day. This has a PVC roof instead of a full fiberglass roof on the 196. Down here, you're gonna have a nice power tongue jack, single 20 pound propane tank, a battery disconnect right down here, rails for your battery, and uh, of course the solar charge cable connection cables, um, whatever you want to call them. This is in what they call their seven and a, seven and a half foot wide series. So as you can see uh, with this um, wheel well over there that it doesn't stick out as far which is nice coming around over here you're gonna have four corner stabilizer jacks they are manual and then you're gonna have your city water connection as well as your fresh water fill up right there as well right here you're gonna have one of your terminations so keep that in mind you have one in front of the axle and one behind the axle And you can see the new honeycomb look with the white grayish fiberglass, which is nice. And these are prepped for the Solera slide awning toppers, which is nice. That way, uh, if you want to add that, you can. I don't recommend it, but if you want to, that it's your trailer, you know, that's something we can do for you. Back here's your other termination, your rear stabilizer jacks, and your cable and satellite connection, as well as your 30 amp service. Back here, there's a lot of features going on back here. So you've got your rear bumper for your stinky slinky or sewer hose, whatever you want to call it. You've got your spare tire and spare tire carrier, all LED tail and bumper lights. You're gonna have a ladder to get up onto the roof and we'll take a look at the solar panel here in just a minute. Over here, you're gonna have your six gallon gas electric water heater with direct spark ignition. And this is the back side of your refrigerator for any service needs. You're also gonna have a backup camera prep location See if I can do this one handed. Nope, I actually don't think I can. So, real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to this. We'll take a look at the solar panel and then we'll wrap up the rest of the outside features. So, as you can see up here, we're up on the roof. Uh, you can see that you have everything up here is a nice, or all your roof material is a nice PVC membrane. This does have a 15 year warranty on it, so that's 100% coverage for defects only. You can also see your roof mounted solar panel, which is really nice. And then up there, you're going to have your wine guard digital antenna, which is an omnidirectional antenna to scan in 360 degrees, which is a really nice option. All right, guys, let me cut back and we'll start or finish up the rest of the outside. All right, guys, so now that we're back on solid ground again, um, on the door side of the trailer, so as you can see, you have a nice two step entry. Um, these do not use the solid steps. They're actually too low to the ground to do that. You're also gonna have a larger entry assist handle, big power awning with LED lights in it, and two outside speakers, as well as a porch light if you don't wanna use the awning light. So one cool thing about the RPOD product is they use the Asdale Onboard. Now what that's gonna do for you is it's a waterproof sidewall which is really nice. You will never get delamination because of this Asdale. 
um, which is again is a really cool feature um, your it also has twice the insulation value of the conventional Luon um, it's a noise dampening material it's lighter weight and it's got a ton of awesome features with it which I really like you can see that you have your nice aluminum wheels and this is what I was trying to talk about earlier um, you'll notice that the wheel well isn't as big on these seven and a half foot wide models or you know that sticks out right here you're gonna have a cold water spray port as well as a black tank flush and your tires are West Lake by Lion's Head and the cool thing about this these have a 5 plus 2 plus 1 tire warranty so five years against defects two years of roadside assistance and 12 months no questions asked replacement guarantee for your tires which is pretty cool right next to that over here you're gonna have an electrical outlet and then this bar above that stripe is the optional or the mount for the optional bush kitchen so what that comes with is a suburban elite series propane griddle and a prep table which is pretty cool I absolutely love that um, and it's a nice way to cook outside and you got a propane quick connect down there as well lastly let's take a look at the storage these are all held up by magnetic catches which uh, you're not gonna break off those little plastic clippy things like the old trailers used and then down here you can see you have a wide open pass-through storage this is one of the better pass-through storages uh, for a smaller trailer which is really nice alrighty guys and of course you got your frog chilling in the shade of the tree drinking some lemonade and some beans. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up for the 2021 and a half Forest River Art Pond model 196. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions or if you have or oh my gosh, I can't talk today. If you have any questions or if you would like pricing and availability, you can give me a call at 806-335-2336. You can shoot me an email at contact at custom-rv.com or you can leave a comment down below. Real quick, if y'all could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, I'm really about to get to 1,000 subscribers this year. We're at 507 so far. So uh, keep hitting that like button and that subscribe button. That really appreciate every single one of y'all that takes the time to watch our videos all right guys again remember at custom rv we don't do any hidden dealer fees we leave that up to the big dealer 